my name is Dr. Richard Martin. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon with fellowship training and additional board certification in sports medicine. One of the primary focuses of my practice is dealing with sport related injuries. We do take care of the Paradise Valley School District. Myself and my partners each take a high school. Some of us have more than one high school and Friday night at home games we're on the sideline. In sports medicine we see a lot of injuries pertaining to the shoulder and the knee. Probably the most common injury in the knee would be a ligamentous sprain followed by a meniscal tear and then some of the more major injuries would involve some of the major ligaments such as the anterior cruciate ligament, the posterior cruciate ligament, medial collateral and lateral collateral ligaments. Mike came to see me about five years ago. He's a very active athlete. He skis, he plays tennis, he golfs, and he's an avid hockey player. I grew up in Minnesota, so been playing hockey since I was three years old, and unfortunately was playing in a tournament, and a guy laid across my knee and tore my ACL. He came under the care of a local orthopedic surgeon who worked him up with an examination and eventually did an MRI scan. He felt that it was mild sprain and so after prescribing some physical therapy, he released Mike to go back to playing. Unfortunately, Mike was not able to get back to the level that he was hoping to. He continued to have problems, some instability in the knee and the knee would swell after he played his games. He then came to me for a second opinion. We evaluated him, did a thorough history and then did a physical examination and it was quite obvious that he had a functional instability in his knee. We then discussed the various possibilities or options as far as treatment. Certainly the option that Mike was not in favor of was giving up his sports um, because he's been doing this all his life and he loves them. After a discussion with Mike, we decided to proceed with the anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction. The surgery was performed in an outpatient setting. The surgery time was about an hour and a half. Within two to three days, he began his physical therapy. And Mike being a very hard worker, he was very diligent with his therapy, worked very hard, and everything went very much according to plan. Some of the advantages of having physical therapy right on site are that we can really oversee what's going on in physical therapy. So we're able to go right over and make the appropriate suggestions to facilitate the rehab. At the onset, I told him it would take anywhere from six to eight months to get back to playing hockey, and at about the eight month mark, he did get back on the ice, and he's done extremely well since. Never having this happen to me before, I had no idea what to expect, but everything Dr. Martin told me eventually came to fruition. You know, we discussed the rehab and the length of time to get back on my feet. Everything was as discussed and the outcome was, I think, beyond my expectations. I can relate to orthopedics because I'm an athlete myself and I've had my share of injuries. As I grow older, I become more attuned to some of the problems that the aging athlete has. It's very fulfilling to me to be able to treat someone who has an injury who, at the onset, thinks perhaps he won't be able to get back to those types of sports and yet after the surgery he's back and he's doing extremely well.